So I'm going to go over what I'm going to bring equipment-wise, and then after that I'm going to go over what I'm bringing food-wise and snacks, snacks and shit. So first off, foam roller. Gotta bring something for some myofascial release. I, um, I foam roll a little bit pre-training. Um, normally, if, uh, if I have any kinks or if anything's tight, uh, you know, normally just if I need it, in the areas I need it, not necessarily a full body foam rolling session, just if, if my hamstrings are tight, my lower back's tight, or IT band's tight, something like that, I will hit it with a foam roller, but uh, really the, the main thing with this is, and with the whole process of a, a powerlifting meet, is you want to try to keep it this like a same like some similarities to how you normally train in the gym so if you foam roll before training make sure you have a foam roll accessible to you before you lift at a meet you know what i mean so if you always foam roll then foam roll if you never foam roll a, a power to, like at, at a meet is probably not the best time to start you know if you don't do it just acknowledge that you don't foam roll next is the energies just in case someone tries to drain me of my energies, I got G Fuel. So Gamma Labs is my sponsor, if you did not know. I love this product, G Fuel. It's probably my favorite energy drink right now. I call it energy drink more than a pre-workout because it's... I mean, really, that's what I compare it to. I mean, it's a, it can be used for both. Um, but I compare it to more of a, a strong energy drink than anything. That's the that's new flavor right there, which is mystery flavor. I tried it. I tried it on these sample packs. I haven't opened up this guy yet, but... I uh, tried a sample pack. The flavor is on point, but I don't know what it is. It's like I'm like like I'm the tip of my tongue, but I don't know what it is. I don't know what to call it. So mystery flavor, brand new tub. I have a few sample packs. Hey, other thing, if you guys want to try this, I have. They sent me like like a handful of these, and uh, I'm sure a bunch of you guys want to try this G Fuel out since it's such a great product. Let me know in the comments. Say hey, I want to try a sample. Obviously, not everybody can get one. I'll pick a couple people. So make uh, make your comment very memorable or make it stand out to me, and then I'll uh, probably shoot you a message to, to let you try some. But that, my favorite's blood, blood, whoa. My favorite's blood orange. So that's, that's my favorite f flavor. That's probably what I'm going to be sipping on most of the day at the meat. Um, but I also have peach mango as well. That's Ashland's favorite. But uh, she'll probably end up drinking that. Awesome. Then I got the Cellucor Creatines. Yes, I used to be an affiliate with Cellucor, so I still have a ton of Cellucor products. And I do love this creatine. Like everybody that I recommended this to, like my clients, I love this creatine. It's, it's sick. You just get the unflavored. It's plain creatine monohydrate. And, uh, had, but it has some other things in it as well, so... Excellent, excellent creatine, my favorite creatine on the market. So I'll take that. I'll probably just take that tomorrow night. Maybe you take a scoop of it um, Saturday morning as well. Um, again, just because I always I take creatine. So if you always take creatine, make sure you take creatine the day of your meat. All right, so let's dig into the gym bag. Nothing really out of the ordinary here. We got a penguin's hat that I'll probably be rock rocking in between lifts. My Nike Romelio 2s. Squat shoes, obviously. If you squat in squat shoes, then you gotta have squat shoes. Bringing a rogue belt as a backup belt, just in case something crazy happens to my insert lower belt. I mean, probably nothing will, but hey, better be safe than sorry. Speaking of insert lower belt. Now you can see my face. Rogue, little red mini band. I like to use this for to warm up my rotator cuffs before benching. Again, if you use something like this, like a band to warm up when you're training, make sure you have access to bands. Um, bef you know, at the meet. So before you bench, you can use bands. So everything kind of stays consistent to how you normally train. You can't just say, "Well, hey, hopefully the the venue has bands for me to warm up with," because they might not, so better be prepared. I am going to to deadlift in just my Reebok Nanos, the 4.0s. My last meet, I did the Reebok powerlifting shoes, um, but I haven't been wearing them much in training. 
So, as you guys can probably guess, I'm trying to keep everything very similar. So I've been wearing these deadlifting more, so I'm just going to use them at the meet. Some ends are wrist straps. Wrist wraps, not straps. Wrist wraps. I never was a fan of wearing uh, wrist wraps when I bench. Never did it. And then during this last training cycle, my left wrist, I don't know why, it just started acting up and getting very sore. Um, pretty much every time I benched, it was sore. So I, I pretty much just put the wrist wraps on just to avoid the soreness in my left wrist. And then I kind of started to, to like it. So, I mean, I'm, I'm going to wear it at the meet. So, um, slingshot hip circle. I posted a video of me warming up, doing my, my lower body or squat warm up with this on Instagram at Hunt Fitness. Follow me if you don't already. Slingshot hip circle. I do a ton of lower body warm ups to warm up my hip, hips and uh, pretty much my entire lower body before squatting and deadlifting. So, have to have that available. Um. Ray-Ban knee sleeves, wear them for squatting. Kingvo headphones, got to have some music. My singlet's in there, black and white, just plain black and white singlet. Got to have a singlet if you're going to lift. And then, whoa. Last but not least, chalk. Bring my own chalk. They'll have chalk at the meet. Oh, I also have a little tiny thing of baby powder. Um, the last meet, I just used the baby powder that was at the meet, but I will have my own just in case. But I always use my own chalk. So that's that. That's what I'm bringing from, for equipment. Oh, one other thing. That lacrosse ball over there. That lonely lacrosse ball sitting over there in my backpack. I will be bringing him as well. Walking upstairs. Where's the kitchen? Messy ass kitchen because, like I said, we just moved in. Just moved into this place. So here is. And there's the living room. What are you doing? Filming. Oh. Just filming shit. It's TV. Hello. Lucy's talking. So this is the the snacks. I went to Walmart, got some food for the meat day. Again, got to be prepared. That's what I got. Gallon of water. I also have a case of water that I'll have out in the car, just in case I need more. But got to have water. Big 100 Metrex protein bars. I really like these. Uh, they sit well in my stomach. You get a pretty big dose of carbohydrates and protein in these. The macros are 5 grams of fat, 50 grams of carbohydrate, only 2 grams of fiber. See, this is important, and 25 or 28 grams of protein. So, you're getting 50 grams of carbs with minimal fiber, which is good for a powerlifting meat. You don't want to be bloated and feel like shit and have GI distress. So, like, anything with sugar alcohols definitely bothers me. It doesn't bother most people, or doesn't bother a lot of people, but Still, it would be something I would stay away from meat day. There's the cap. Or something like a Quest Bar with like 20 grams of fiber. You don't need that much fiber. It's not really optimal for a performance standpoint. But something like this. If uh, Another thing. Go with something that you've had before. Like, day of a meat is not something that, ooh, look at this new protein bar I found. Maybe I should give it a try. I've never had it before, but let's, you know, let's give it a run the day of a meat. Because then you're going to, you know, you always run the... The uh, risk of feeling like shit or something doesn't sit well in your stomach, but so familiarity here. And speaking of that, peanut butter pop tarts. This I even I, I have pop tarts in the house, so I wasn't gonna go specifically get peanut butter ones, but I don't know. I just I've had really good luck having peanut butter pop tarts. Um, you know I've always had I've had big lifts while eating peanut butter pop tarts. So are you laughing? Yeah. It's a, I don't know, it's kind of like, I wouldn't say like superstitious. I wouldn't say superstitious. I think it's just, there's something about peanut butter Pop-Tarts that they're, it's like performance enhancing. I don't know. <laughs> Granola bars. Now mind you, I get, I'm getting way more than I really need, but um, we're also staying in York for the whole weekend. So this is kind of Friday, Saturday at the meet, and probably Sunday. I'll still be snacking on this shit, so. 
Yeah, I hear her. Rice cakes. Just some quick, easy, digestible carbohydrate. Um, Swedish fish. Yummy. Um, now for the bro food. So, at some point during the day, I'm going to actually want, like, real food. So I figured, get some Uncle Ben's ready-made rice. Now, fun fact, this ready rice, you don't actually even have to cook it. Like it says, cooks in 90 seconds, like you put it in the microwave. That's really just to heat it up. I mean, it's already cooked rice. It's just, I mean, if you don't mind it a little cold, but, I mean, you don't need to cook it, actually. It's, you can eat it right out of the bag. And I got two things of uh, albacore white tuna to mix with it. So tuna and rice, basically get two meals out of this, two smaller meals. So I'm going to bring Tupperware and uh, eat that. Just really just to have, again, this is a meal that I eat, you know, rice and tuna relatively frequently. So it's not anything that's going to be out of the ordinary. It's just it's something to get a, a full meal in during the day. I don't want to be eating like protein bars and snack food all day. I won't. You know, you won't feel good, so. And I don't know what, you know, would be close. It's just better be prepared. Uh, then we got some more drinks. Got uh, G2. So, like, the lower calorie, lower sugar Gatorade. And then I went with a regular Gatorade as well. So, water and Gatorade. And some Monsters, which I think maybe might be for tomorrow, not really for meat day. What's for me? Well, one's for you, but you one's... One? Yeah, I got one, too. You got the white one, I got the the lemonade tea one. Yeah. All right. So that is what I'm bringing to the meat. Turn around. There's Lucy. Hey. Hey. What are you doing? What are you doing? You coming out here? <laughs> I guess Lucy's gonna close out the video with me. Let's close out the video. So, but I also want to mention. So I'm weighing in tomorrow morning. I didn't really mention anything about my weight. My weight's fine. I'm. I've been like my morning weight was 160. Whoa, I was 164 this morning. I've ate kind of normal today. I mean, I restricted calories a little bit. Whoa, there's Lucy. Restricted calories a little bit. Um. I, I should say, I, I'm guessing I'll wake up around 164, 164 and a half again. Got a three and a half hour drive. Weight will not be an issue. I'll probably end up weighing in at under 164. Um, I guess what, guys? Literally, like I like I said in the beginning of the video, this week, the last like week and a half has been super stressful. Like my nutrition has been completely off the last week. I did nothing special, nothing at. I barely even, I didn't track hardly anything, uh, just due to circumstances, so, you know, you gotta do what you, you, you gotta do to, to get shit done. Whoa, what way are you going, baby? Um, but luckily, I'm, I've, this whole meat prep, I've been really light. I, I don't think I've really consistently hit over, like, 163 for, uh, you know, more than a couple days, so. Luckily, 165 is a very easy weight class for me to make. It won't be an issue. I think I'm going to take an Epsom salt bath to relax, and then get to bed, and then head out in the morning. 